Hello everyone. In this video, let's build a simple machine learning model in Python using scikit-learn, which is a machine learning tool for Python. For this example, we are going to perform the task of binary classification. That means the output will have two class and we have to predict which class the output would belong to. As we know already, to perform any machine learning, we need a data. So, for this example, we are going to make use of the database of breast cancer Wisconsin dataset. And we are going to make use of the naive bias classifier that predicts whether a tumor is malignant or benign. Okay, as a first step in performing any machine learning, let's load the dataset for our working. We are going to make use of the dataset which are already available inside the scikit. So, we load the dataset like this. From sklearn.datasets, import load breast cancer. Then I'll write it like this. Data is equal to load breast cancer. Okay, this is executed. Now this data variable represents a Python object that works just like the dictionary. The important dictionary keys to consider are the classification label names, which is nothing but the target names, which has the values malignant or benign. And then we have the actual labels or in other words, the actual label values, which is having the value as either one or zero. Apart from that, we have the feature names. That is, based on which features, we are deciding whether a particular tissue is malignant or benign. And finally, we have the attributes, which is nothing but data. And this contains the respective values for each features. Okay, we now have the data ready. Now let's do one thing. Let's create new variables for each of the important set of information and assign the data. I'll create a new variable as label names and I'll assign the target names to it. Similarly, labels, data of target. And for the variable feature names, I'm assigning feature names. In the same way, I'm adding the features for the data. Okay, we now have lists for each set of information. To get the better intuition on our data set, let's take a look at our data by printing our class names and the class value which we have for the first instance, feature names, and the feature values we have for the first instance. Okay, this is how it looks like. As we can see in the output, the class names are malignant and benign. And these are mapped to binary values 0 and 1, where 0 represents malignant tumors and 1 represents benign tumors. Also, if you observe, the target value for the first instance of our data is 0. That means the first instance is a malignant tumor. We have the list of feature names which are present in our data. I've also printed the feature values for the first instance of our data. Now let's do one thing. Let me print the shape of features and the labels. Okay. We have the shape of the features as 569,30. That means we have 569 rows. In other words, we have the data of 569 instances. And 30 means 30 number of features in our data set. And if you look at the shape of the labels data, it has the shape as 569. That means we have one value for each instance of the data. Okay, we now have the data set ready and we have explored as how it looks like. Now before we perform the fit in our machine learning model, the next thing we have to perform is, we have to split our data set into two parts, the training set and the test set. We perform the training on the training data and test on the test data. That's it. Now to split the data, we are going to make use of the sklearns function train test split. And this will help us to split the data in two parts that is training and test data. I'll start by importing like this. From sklearn.model underscore selection, import train test split. Now I'll call it like this train data comma test data train labels comma test labels is equal to train test split of features comma labels statify is equal to labels test size is equal to 0 0.25 and random underscore state is equal to 1. As I said already the train test split function will split the data into two parts. And if you observe, I have passed the features and the labels, that is my input features and the target values which I want to perform the fit. 
I have passed in one more parameter as statify and this is equal to labels. That means I'm instructing the system to perform the statified split by taking the reference from labels. In other words, what I want is both input and output should have the statified data on the basis of labels column. I have also passed in test size as 0.25. That means 25% of our data should be assigned as test data. And finally, I am marking the random underscore state as 1 to make sure that whenever you execute the same code, you should be able to get the same results. Now let's verify the same. Okay, as we can see, the test data is having the 25% of data. The training data is having the 75% of data. Okay, we have now splitted our data as per our requirement. So, we now have the data ready. We have split our data into training and the test data. Now, let's build our first model. So, let's make use of simple naive bias algorithm which is a simple algorithm and performs well on the binary classification. For that, let's import it first. From sklearn.naive underscore bias, import Gaussian NB. We have now imported this Gaussian NB module. We initialize this module with the function like this, gnb is equal to Gaussian NB. And then we train the model with fitting the data using gnb.fit function. So I'll write it like this, model is equal to gnb.fit train data comma train labels. As I said already, we perform the training. In other words, we perform the fit to our data using our training data. Hence, I have passed in the training data and the training labels. Okay, this is done. After we train the model, we can then use the training model to make the predictions of the test data. And we predict the values by making use of predict function like this. Predicted values is equal to gnb.predict, I'll pass in the test data. If I print it, this is how the output would look like. We can see that this predict function has returned an array of predictions for each data instance in the test set. So we now have the predictions, that is the output. Let's perform the evaluation on our model performance by measuring its accuracy by comparing with the predicted values with our test labels. To measure the accuracy, we are going to make use of the sklearn function accuracy score. So as a first step, I'll import like this. From sklearn.matrix, import accuracy underscore score. So, we calculate the accuracy like this. Accuracy underscore score. Inside the parenthesis, we'll pass in the test labels and we'll pass in the predicted values. If you print the accuracy, you can see that in this case, we have reached around 93% of accuracy. So, with our first model on binary classification using the simple naive bias algorithm, we have reached around 93% accuracy, guys. I think that's good. So this completes our video on implementing the simple binary classification on dataset in Python using the scikit-learn. Let's continue more from the next video. I'll see you next time.